Well, all right then. A couple of announcements for you. Now, there's a gal here, and she lost a lot of money. And uh, if you find it, don't pocket it. You give a shout, and uh, and that gal would love to have that wad of money back. It absent-mindedly slipped from her pocket to the floor below. Other announcements? Birthdays, anniversaries? Somebody just found a lot of money? <laughs> Wilson tonight from uh, Reiner. Especially want to make the Reiner contingent welcome tonight. Big trip to Floyd. Yep. <laughs>
I meant Piedmont or Virginia, but I'll accept that. <laughs> There's similar styles now. There's Piedmont style in North Carolina. The Piedmont style of Virginia is a little bit water wheel. It's got a little more waddle to it, like around Bottle Talk. You know when you're riding around Bottle Talk? And you're like, man, it's so water wheel around here. And you go up to Kmart, if you go up to Kmart, you probably get a blue freckle. Yeah, we learned that song in a Kmart parking lot. Bottle Talk. Kmart. Chimbley. Now, they didn't have Kmarts where we grew up, we had roses. Yeah. Y'all got roses, don't you? Roses. And roses had a lunch counter. We act good. They, they were some tasty vittles down at the roses. And some not so attractive servers. <laughs> Thanks for being here tonight. It's wonderful to see you all. Yeah, it's a real pleasure to be down in southwest Virginia. Down in the... Skinny port. Oh, that little skinny port. <laughs> you had somebody tell you that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Down in the skinny port. Sleeping at the feet 
prophets from Elijah to the old Bayou Bacchus take their places at the table when they're gone. I hear them all, I hear them all, I hear them all. I hear them all, I hear them all, I hear them all. I hear them all. Last night after our gig in Stanton, and there was a wedding in the lobby of the Stonewall Jackson Hotel, which has recently been refurbished. It's a CNO Railroad Hotel, and also served as sort of derelict housing for some less than adequately mentally challenged folks. A lot of people went crazy and went to Stanton. That's where they sent them down in, uh, in North Carolina. They sent you down to Morganton, and it was like a bad word when we used to live up there on the backside of Beach Mountain. Morganton. <laughs> That's where they went and took you away. Just looked at the sun too long. Out in the fields, that's all there is to look at because there's no billboards. Yeah, it's a Johnson City kind of go crazy place. Anyway, we were down in the lobby of the Stonewall Jackson Hotel and there was a wedding band and they were playing Wagon Wheel as we got out of the, uh, <laughs> of the elevator. Can y'all guess what the next song they played? Yeah, it was Gin and Juice by Snoop Dogg. <laughs> that horribly inane Blind Melon song. But it was nice to hear a little wagon wheel in the lobby. What else they play? But I was thinking about, and so after that I went to the computer and I was checking my email and I got an email from somebody about how uh, a, a news story came in from the state of Washington that, they're, um, that there's a um, bill on the floor in the state of Washington to make I Hear Them All the Washington State Song. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <coughs> you waited. I didn't tell you last night because I know um, Empire, I mean, uh, Temple oh, of Doom was Indiana on Jones and you had that ham sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole horse. the part where he grabs his heart out? Oh, don't you buy. Oh, yeah. don't you buy. I'm the whole Just tell me I know. Later. It's like, hey, guess what happened in Washington? Oh, don't you buy. Oh, don't you buy. Plus, could have had this smoked ham sandwich from up in Turner Hams up on Folks Run. Anyway, it was what we call in the business a perfect storm. For Critter in the post-show mood. Kicked back, reclined, Harrison Ford and the little Chinese boy. But yeah, what's just up with that? reminiscing fondly. It was great. <laughs> the ham was so tender, the mustard had a zit. No, you had that horseradish sauce, didn't you? Mola Ran was so bad. Indiana Jones was so good. Yeah. Saving all those children. Anyway. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's going to pass, and I don't know if that's really what Washingtonians should be debating on the Senate floor <laughs> up there in Olympia, because I've been to Olympia, and it's kind of like the um, CNO Railroad Hotel. It's like a place for crazy people to go <laughs> get put away. One of those towns, like Morganton. Hey, C.J. Giles, I'm working on your tailpiece, bud. <laughs> Well, uh, we're going to do a new song for you here that uh, we've been really inspired by a lot of the places we've been and, and lived and our time living around the, the corner where North Carolina, Virginia, and Tennessee all come together, the tri-state region and the tri-cities um, as a place of influence to us and to all of country music, of course. We wrote a song for a buddy of ours whose father came up from Mississippi in, in the early 1930s to help dig Watauga Dam. And we used to live in Butler, which is new Butler. But old Butler was right down the road underneath 1,500 feet of water. And they said that, uh, you know, if you put on your aqua gear, you could go down there and feed the parking mirrors. <laughs> They'll give you a ticket to this day in old Butler. Thank you. 
Down from Washington City to our Blue Ridge Mountain home. And they crossed that crooked river to the valley down below. I was swimming in that water when they came up to the shore. Saying, sorry son, this won't be dry land here anymore. Yes, and my hometown is a half mile down. It's a half mile of water all around, all around. My hometown is a half mile down. So they started their surveying and making up their plans to put that peaceful valley just a little more talk and dance. Since a day singing my hometown is a half mile down, it's a half mile of water all around, all around my hometown is a half mile down.